Every morning, he would stand right here, outside the middle school to greet students and teachers as they arrived. Panton Adams, a security guard at Masters for eight years, was loved by all who knew him. In his final days, community members recalled Adams' warmth, compassion for others, and willingness to go beyond the call of duty time and time again. When, when I was in fifth grade, I saw him a lot more, like in middle school, and I'd normally be crossing the street or something like that, but even when I ran into him, he always asked me like how I am, how my day was, you know, how my family is, my sister. I remember specifically in sixth grade when I came here, I didn't know anyone, I was very scared, and you know, I was very young. And I just remember getting off the bus and he, he just said hi to me. And, you know, I didn't really know how friendly Masters was at that point. And just hearing him be like, hello, what's your name? And making an effort to, I guess, learn my name and, you know, see me. And from then on, he said hello to me, you know, every single day after I got off the bus. The one for me that, that I keep coming back to is, is um, you know, his interactions with my daughter. And I can remember um, we'd kind of be walking down the path away from the cafeteria and he would stop and he would play a mini game of hide and seek like every time. So he would like hide in the bushes or he'd go behind a tree and my daughter would get so excited to be like, where is he? Uh, and look for him every day. And, you know, he wasn't there every single day. But in those moments for me, I saw a connection that he didn't have to stop his day to do that with my child, but he did. There was a true grace and kind of beauty in the way that he um, cared for people in the most sort of gentle, such a gentle spirit. He didn't just know your name. He noticed all sorts of details about people. Um, and that was his superpower. Originally from Jamaica, Adam served the Dobbs Ferry community for over 20 years working at Children's Village and Mercy College prior to joining Masters in 2013. His colleagues on the security team say his favorite part of the job was interacting with the students. He's always worked with the middle school, and one time he told me the reason why is because when you work with the middle school, you get to see the kids grow, grow into the high school area. Security guard Kirsten Lloyd said Panton would always brighten up team meetings with his sense of humor. She admired his commitment to helping others on and off the job. He's taught me a lot. You know, he's helped me outside of this, you know, with my outside career or, you know, learning how to um, just be, I guess, just do the best of my job. But um, Panton's awesome. Like, it's just like to see how he is with everybody and how much care and love he has. Somebody will need help with a package and Panton will put it in a car and literally walk like six flights to give you no matter how heavy it is. Even after losing his mother and brother last year to COVID-19, Adams continued to be a light in the Masters community. To have that positive spirit and that positive attitude and then pass it along to others, I think that's really special in this world, and particularly during a pandemic, right? Like, to get a smile out of someone behind a mask, he knew how to do that, and I always appreciated that about what, what he was able to do for me. When the community learned of Adams' condition in early January, they rallied in several ways. Dana Goyne, the daughter of science teacher Elizabeth Merrill, started a GoFundMe that has raised over $40,000 for the family. This has just been such an amazing way that people have shown that they really do care about their community. We did not anticipate that it would get this much, this much traction, which is amazing and really kind of a testament to the person that Pandon is and his presence here on campus. I can't count on you. Music teacher John Alec Robeson put together a video of messages from middle school students. He said he was inspired by the students' initiative and by the man they were rooting for. To me, he personifies what we, what we mean by being a power for good. And oftentimes, when we, when we utter those words, it, what it seems to evoke is that you have to be a world leader or to enact some great new initiative. And, um, while that is true, um, if we all are in our own realm doing what's right and good in the moment, then we are making the world that place. And so, you know, Panton personifies that. On Monday, tributes to Adams from current and former students flooded social media. One student saying, thank you for being our real life guardian angel and the big pops of the master's community. Another said, may your legacy of kindness and generosity live on in the hearts of all of us.
Canton is survived by his wife, Crescencia, and two daughters. May he rest in peace, and may his memory be a blessing.